What's up, YouTube? Where are we at right now? Well, I'll tell you where we're at. We're inside the Timaquan Pahama. It's their dwelling place. It would have been made out of concrete. Now, the Timaquan, unlike the Spanish, were matriarchal. That means the women typically were the chiefs. Not all of them, but about 80% of the chiefs were women. So if you're a guy, you still had a 20% chance, but much less likely. And the chief would sit up here on this throne and was known as the Olata. Now look, every family had a job. Your dad's a good fisherman, you're gonna be a good fisherman too. So they kept the jobs in the families and each family and clan would sit underneath their totem. So let's start with this one right here. These rattlesnakes, this is the hunters. The reason they chose rattlesnakes to use poison spears and arrows while they were hunting. Right next to it over here, this dolphin, this is the fisherman. Who's a better fisherman than the dolphin is, right? And the fishermen were also the weathermen. They would observe the dolphins. If the dolphins are playing, you know it's going to be a great day. They're all making a break to the north. Could be a storm coming from the south. So this one over here with the target and the eyes on it, this is the scouts. This is the people that guarded the village. You can see that target looking thing. That's the village in the middle. And you can see there's an eye on there like they're keeping an eye out what's going on. And they were the traders as well. They would trade with other scouts at the edge of other territories. Right next to over here, this is the holy man's clan. This is like their, their priest, kind of. So the holy man's represented by the sun on the outside, and that thing in the middle is the moon. So you can think of it like a yin and yang symbol, basically. This is the balance between light and dark. And that's what this guy's trying to achieve for your spirit. This one over here, this is their army. This is the warriors. The warriors are represented by the vulture getting strangled by an eagle. And even though they thought this up thousands of years ago, as modern humans, we still totally get what they're trying to say. Nobody wants to be the vulture even today. Everybody wants to be the eagle. This is probably the most mind-blowing one. That's the medicine man's clan, represented by kind of like an amalgam of different animals. It looks like a spider or a scorpion. The medicine man would take every known toxin in the environment. Rattlesnake, coral snake, black widow spider, scorpion, you name it. Mix them all together and then take a sharpened shark's tooth and inoculate the children of the village with it. So by the time you're an adult, guess what? You're immune to rattlesnake. You're immune to coral snake. You're immune to black widow spider. But what's the one thing they weren't immune against? European diseases.